to this area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. When you go rapping like that. Notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blame. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. There is so much that I need to unpack today, but I'm gonna just put this out for the record. Ricky Record, salute to every single one of y'all first and foremost. Um, I see everybody watching the content, the people who rock with it, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. So Sue Surf has been very vocal after his John John and Don battle. He has been saying that he feels like, and I feel like, it's a 30, it's a body bag. I beach down this man's leg. I need my credit. I want my aspiration for what I did. You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a huge majority of people, most people feel like overall he won. You know what I'm saying? It's a clear win. John John Adon even gave him the win. There's a live stream with uh, Nunu Nels and John John Adon and Sue Surf. I'll put a quote, I'll put some of it at the end, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty long, I didn't take all of it, and plus, you know, that's their conversation that they had, but I do feel like some of the dialogue is needed. Um, make sure that you check out her new expressions, the teeth for all of that, you know what I'm saying? It's good to have good teeth and shit like that, but back to this. So, John John Adon basically said that, you know, this wasn't the best version of him, you know, he didn't bring his A game. He didn't have it all a thousand percent. Um, some fans are trying to call it excuses, but you know, the battle was what it was. I did watch the battle more than once. I still have Sue Surf winning. It really, the second round is the diciest round where people could say John John Adon edged the second or got the second, but Sue Surf got the first and third. It's a clear win, though. I don't even understand how his wins are even. People even try to water them down. Like, there's nothing to see again. Like, for the entertainment value and for what Sue Surf brought, it's it's worth seeing again and things like that. But there's not going to be a different a different winner decided when watching it again. John John Adon went first. A lot of his material, some hit, some didn't, things like that. Sue Surf went, flushed him through the round. John John Adon, second round, he went. He had the crowd participation. He had the all of the above and things like that. Sue Surf goes, he has all of the above. He wilds out. Second round. Third round, John John's round, it didn't really hit as hard. It kind of tapered off. Sue Surf's third, it was what it was. He took shots at Ace Amin, things like that. And he was wilding. But I want to say in this one, him and JC, because like Sue Surf versus John John Adon, they're going to have Sue Surf can talk shit for the next year and a half like that's what he does he's good at selling fights he's good at selling his own brand he's good at being the commercial figure that he is i said previously that when sue surf is doing good it's good for battle rap you know what i'm saying like battle rap as a whole the algorithm the blogs the etc i don't know if people wanted him to lose because if he lost it does better numbers where you trashing him and trolling him but it does great numbers whether he wins or whether he loses. i would prefer him to win because us as fans want to see three round battles. And another thing that people did not really highlight is Sue Surf had the clearest margin of victory during Summer Madness. If you think about it, all of the other battles were, you know, closer. I'm not counting, you know, Real Name Brandon versus uh, MVP. That was a clear win for Real Name Brandon. Like, that was the, you know, rookie year guys. But I'm talking about Summer Madness card, card, card. Chess versus uh, Easy was wild closer. Geechee versus Cal, debatable, wild closer. Mook versus Reed, Mook didn't win, Reed didn't lose. Reed didn't win, no, I don't even know. That's it. I got that in another blog coming up. Um, the like Out of all the battles that happened that night, main stage, bigger name battles, you know, Shine versus Hollow, 
Shine, I mean, Hollow clearly won. But this is a, by a wide margin. Like, this is not even. I don't think if it was Sue Surf, it would even be as debatable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think from the brand perspective and from the name perspective, him bringing three rounds and having what he had in that material, a lot of people are feeling like, yo, he deserves the respect. So let's get to um, what, what he said about this whole, uh, about the Cal and about JC, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, put out a, he put out a tweet earlier that asked at the kid JC, can I show you a magic trick in 30 days or will you need more time with the big mouth of yours? Basically calling out JC for a battle which will be in 30 days on the Drake card, which is at the end of October. That would be pretty crazy. But Cal was supposed to be originally the one. Cal said, whoever they replace me with to battle surf better drop to their knees and thank me. Me and the URL officially could not come to an agreement for the event. Drake, I really appreciate the opportunity. I thought we had an understanding when we spoke on the phone, but we obviously didn't. So, Sue Surf versus Cal, the rematch was supposed to happen or was in talks to happen, and now is not. And it looks like, potentially, and in the video that I'm putting at the end, Surf did say that, you know, he was gonna battle JC, he's battling Cal again, and he will spin the block, he gonna battle easy, chess, spin the block to battle John John and Don again. He said, I will give you another fade if you feel like that's gonna make you better, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lot of the same. Even if you felt like that wasn't your best showing, I will do it again just to show <laughs> John John. It's a real secret, you must be a thrill seeker. I'm not gonna hold you. He, he's saying that he will spin the block and, and he'll do it to you again, man. Like, you, you can get, you can get beat again, per se. I think that if they battled again, just saying, more people would be towards, because when you see something the first time, if you saw it back again, or if it was supposed to happen again, you know, more motherfuckers would probably be on, on board with Surf, especially if he's coming with three rounds. Um, I will say this about John John's material. John John had material, some of it was fire, he did have some moments. I don't put nothing on the crowd. I just feel like a lot of them was there to see Surf. And rightfully so, they hadn't seen him in a while. They was hoping that he had three rounds and shit like that. And that kind of took away from John John, but he still had some shit. I personally have the battle as a clear win for Sue Surf. Uh, j debatable gentlemen's or 2-1. Or However you dice it up, to me, I'm not really like trying to take nothing away. I feel like Sue Surf was action-packed. I stated this in some of my other blogs. Some of that moving, that mwah, get a baby kiss, the bow, I thought I saw some shit, awesome shit, the Johnny Gills line. Like, you gotta give credit where credit is due. And I try to be, you know what I'm saying, clear across the board and call it like I call it so I don't spoil it, but we're not about to act like this was close. This was not close. Why is there even any debate? This was not close at all. This was far from close. Call it like it is. You got to call it down the middle. Because the same way, and I tell Surf this all the time, you know, um, I'm very blessed to have relationships with certain people and we have conversations and dialogue and I can tell them. I told them before this battle even happened, if you don't break three rounds, you're not being John John and Don. I blogged on it and told him though. I had the same energy to tell him that I did in the blog. I don't try to cut corners and make it different and try to save relationships or spare nothing. He's, he said how he felt about different media or different blogs at times and shit like that, but the algorithm is the algorithm. When you're one of the biggest names, one of the biggest stars, people are gonna talk about you because it's ching brings in paper. But uh, other than that, uh, what y'all think, man? Would y'all do y'all want to see JC versus? I was, I, I'll take JC versus Surf. I'll take JC versus Cal. But if Cal and them can't come to an agreement in 30 days, give me JC versus Sue Surf. Y'all niggas, let me know what y'all think. It is what it is. Gang gang. You proud? Oh, John, John, I forgot to tell you what he said yesterday. He's, he, he painted the picture. Your battle was equivalent to what Show Out did to, um, you know. Well, who, Show Out? Who was Show Out? Show Off. Damn, show that shit jumped up to 3,500, baby. But anyway, regardless of that, besides that, no. What I, what I, equivalent, what I equivalented to is this. It's like, I don't want, I don't want credit for something that I'm, and I'm not disrespecting John John. Like John John, really my nigga. Like John John can attest to you. Me and John John talk outside of we done had shots together, drink, 
And I'm not saying this. I will say this in John John's face. Of course, John John could say no. Like, any nigga at any level in the basketball league can argue with a nigga. Nigga, if, if Kelly Oubre want to say he better than Steph, he can because that's his choice. I've always said that since day one. I just think John John is just not better. If me and John John was to battle next month, the same thing would happen because John John is that's, that's John false. Is. That's false, and you know that's that. his style. That's false, and you know that. You just don't got you just don't got you gears, bro. Like I got gears, bro. I got gears, nah, bro. That's why I turned up a little bit you on you. You don't you don't got gears. You make friends. Let's be real here. Come on, my nigga. Come on. You had you had to break that ice. You didn't want John John in in hate mode and kill mode. So what happened? But we was, but we now, was friends. Now, but now, now, I'm not now, John, John, so now John, John, John the brother, John, my homie. The, wait, wait, talking about the brotherhood. The brotherhood, not my fault though, bro. That's something like we genuinely fuck but, with each other. I can't control right, that. Right, but that's when you wanted the battle after it was brotherhood. Why is that? No, come on, six oh crip. We gonna keep it real. Listen, the reason Let's I said, look, real. I, I so look, so we gonna keep it real. We we was in a brotherhood chat. We got that number. We found out the number that that hitman got for Cal. I said, John, John, I'm about to call you right now. I said, what's up? You want to get to it? I hung up with you. I called Beasley. I said, Joe, book so, me so, and John, so, so John. You, hold on, hold on. So you called me, right? Yeah, I because, did. Because for the bread, right? Because, yeah, because so of what I, we heard. So, so I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I wasn't asking for it or thinking about it, then, right? That, that's, that's, listen, and, and I'll say that. That's fair. At that very moment, you wasn't asking for it or thinking about it, but... You know, you know me. I'm a nigga that pick my battles as far as you know. Like I pick and choose my battles and career wise. You wasn't asking for it, but when I look up and I say a good battle, a formidable opponent, a nigga that I respect, a nigga that I know could kill me if I'm bullshitting, which I always say. I only like I've never disrespected you. Like a nigga that I'm like that I know would kill me. It's John John automatically. Look up, Mav, JC, Cortez. Ace I mean, Luke Castro. I respect you enough to say John John is the best nigga walking right now that I haven't battled. So you, you automatically that. get you that. You ain't never said that. You ain't never said that till after the battle. You That's cool. That because battle. listen, and I haven't, but this is also business in a game, John John. It's business in a game. So in reality, when I look up and I say, hmm, what traction? Serve versus who would have the most motherfucking eyes on Summer Madness? I'm not going to yeah. disrespect you and battle JC or Cortez or Ace or one of these rookies. I'm going to battle the nigga that technically deserve it the most. Now, the flip side of that, the flip, <laughs> side, of that quarter, like the flip side of that quarter is you earned that. The same way if you would have beat the shit out of me, it would have been like, man, I've been antagonizing that nigga. Like, we got mad blogs walking up to each other. Like, when I catch you, what's up? You earned that. But you ain't ass at all. You ain't ass. Nigga, you one of the best niggas doing it. You're the most put together battle rapper in battle rap. Period. I caught you on a good night and ran up in your shit. Pause. As long as you know that. You called me on a good night. So don't don't say it can happen again a, a month from now and the same thing happen. A that month from now, a month from now. Don't, don't no, that, no, no, that, that wasn't. If, and, I, if, um, if I'm being respectful, so he said, if I'm being he respectful. Said you, told, you said last night that he made a payment. He said he ain't make no payment. He made a payment. If I'm, be, if I'm being respectful, I'm at 80%. What was it, if in I'm blood? Because it wasn't in money. It was in blood. <laughs> hey, yo, listen, that man heart... That man heart is more. That's why you see. I said he made a payment. I winked at you. That man heart is more important than any dollar. He paid in blood. John John is a man of value. That nigga has never been. He has wiped ass. Pause. He's wiped niggas across stage like for real. Punish niggas. He's a man of value. He paid in blood. That was better than any dollar I could get for him. I already got my my front end for for Drake shit. I don't need twenty from him. The blood that I took from him. I took a pint. I took a pint. That's I took a pint. That's more than anything for me. That's more than anything for me. The one thing I could say though is niggas better let him. I see the little shade from the niggas like, you know, the mid-tier niggas and the niggas that think now because the, 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 the no tear niggas. The no tear niggas. Like, let that nigga lick his wounds in peace because the next nigga that he get a hold of, I I'm willing to bet a blind 30. Like, if a nigga want to take a bet before we I'm know who he battles. Yo, this is what I'm telling him, Yeah, but him, you, right? you, you of all people, 
know how I feel about battling right now. Yeah, I do. Sure. I do. You, but I also, you, but you, I, you made that call. We had that conversation. We did. Nah, you definitely. You we definitely, had that conversation. So when niggas are sitting there like, like, like as if I'm changing my tune now, because after the battle, I gave you the battle. Yeah. I haven't made not one excuse. Yeah. I haven't made not one excuse. Last All night. I said was that wasn't the best me. That wasn't. That wasn't. And, but it and, wasn't. And but I just don't like. It, it wasn't a bad. Like my thing is this, right? And and like even when I broke down the battle, I told niggas it wasn't like you can't tell you can't name dry spots in his battle besides when they start booing in the third because he talking about his career or whatever cool. There's no dry spots in John John's battle at all. But to not respect that a nigga is eclipsing not you having to say it but the fans. Like I'm saying some shit and and surface saying better shit. That's cool. But don't act like I'm not saying nothing in here. Like, I'm not going to say I respect the crowd or I don't respect the crowd. We're not going to say John John wasn't saying nothing. Surf was better. Bro, I seen a nigga hit two, three straight and another nigga come hit five. It happens. It happens. But what, what, what y'all going to say? John John ain't coming here and missed a shot and ain't make a layup. At, and that was my biggest problem. It wasn't you, John John. It was the bloggers and everybody else. Like, they was more so worried about, like, all right, well, John John didn't make his shots. That's bullshit. John John was scoring. Surf scored more points. That's the way games go. He wasn't ass. That just wasn't the John John niggas was used to, and that wasn't the John John niggas was expecting. And I will look, I, and, I, and I got, and I got a, you know what I'm saying? I respect that. I, I will I, look. I ain't blame the crowd about nothing. I ain't That's what I'm saying, yo. I will look. We could get him back you. in the game. I could throw you. Listen. I'm back in I'm it's like I'm back in my Birkin, right? I got a couple things to do, but I could I could keep trolling you about how I beat your ass for the next eight months, and we could do you the same way. Like, can we can we really bet? And really bet. Ten percent. We could run it. Like I'm in I'm in a mode like that. Like they just they just had me for they just had me in thirty days for Cal because I'm in a mood like that. Like I'm about to beat the shit out of Cal because of a mood I'm in. Like I just tasted blood and yeah, I'm in that do. mood. Yeah, you 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 caught that zone. You caught I'm that a whoop, zone. I'm a whoop JC. I'm gonna whoop. You, I'm a whoop JC. Just make I'm sure gonna whoop. A block for me. That's I'm a whoop JC. I'm a whoop easy. I'm a whoop chess. I'm a whoop you again. And gun titles is gonna beat gun titles. Remember, I told you that. Yeah, yeah. Just spin a block for me, please. And I, I, I see. Listen, please. I see you please. next year. That's it. Mark That's my it. my word. You find you some energy for this shit. My word to God, I'm going to beat your ass again. My next year, I'll be all right. It's going to take you about. I seen, I seen the interview after. You ain't processed the interview. You ain't processed the battle before. Nigga, nigga hours. was on a lawn chair saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> nigga said, nigga said, <laughs> nigga, said, <laughs> nigga, said, <laughs> nigga was like, yeah. Uncle Rod said, so, Uncle Rod said, so, so how do you feel like Surf did? He was like, Man, I ain't even hear that shit. I couldn't process it. I know it get it get loud in there when I get spooky. Nah, I get... don't I don't be listening to niggas while they rapping. And what are you not telling me? I had just woke up, nigga. Uncle Ryan Rex came in there and fucking woke me up. But hold on, I know the nigga that was sleep for two days after the Lux battle. Not talking. Is that is that I was. what you're comparing it to? I was, you I was sleep for two days. I was sleep for two days. But for two days. But, but to be fair, <laughs> two days. but to be fair, I was sleep for two days. I was sleep for two days after I battled you too. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, so it's like that shit take a that shit take a lot of energy. You feel me? Like I ain't gonna lie, you a bad motherfucker. Cause like you know, like niggas like Cortez and all these other niggas, they chat, but niggas ain't really signing that line. You a bad motherfucker for really signing that line, bro. Because as much as we talk shit, I also know you know what I could do to you. So for you to even sign on that line is like. This nigga is this this a this a gangster. You a bad you a bad motherfucker. She was a thug, one for the goofy that went for the shit. <laughs> Pull up at the party for your 21st B-Day. Yeah, yeah, 21 shots for the birthday kid. Hey, hey.